Hello friends, Wi-Fi keeps connecting and disconnecting on your Android smartphone. So you can follow the steps in this tutorial. I hope it helped for lots of you guys. Let's say you are browsing internet on any browser or you are watching something on YouTube. Your Wi-Fi keeps on dropping. It will drop and connect automatically again. It will disconnect and connect it again. So sometime it will connect automatically by disconnecting automatically. Sometime it disconnects in the middle of while browsing and then you have to connect it again and again. So if you are getting such kind of issue, you can follow the steps in this tutorial for your Android smartphone. Even you can try all these steps in several other Android devices like Android tablets and Android TV. So steps are similar but the settings and all you can see in the different device there will be in a uh, different places so let's begin how to do and how to fix the problem all these steps might not work for all this android smartphone so some of the step you do not find the option in the setting you can proceed to the next step so if you're using the samsung smartphone if you have a more section in your smartphone, you can see more on the top. So click on the more. Here you have keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. Click on that. You always choose the option always on the top. If you have other option selected, make sure you choose the option as always. Once you have done that, in some device, in the more section, or uh, you will see sometimes three dot line on some Android smartphone, if you do not have this option, you just skip this step. You will even have the option of a scanning. So if you have an option of a scanning, right now in this smartphone, I do not have an option of a scanning. If you have an option of a scanning, you can turn it off. So this is the first step that you can follow. The next step you can follow to fix this issue. Open the normal pad. As you can see, it's a numeric pad where you dial a phone number so you just open it and then you're going to type star has 0011 has and you'll have this option so it, uh, it is a service mode so in the different device there will be a different shortcut code that you can dial to access a service mode so here I'll show you some of the code so first one is star has 0011 has works for uh, Samsung phone. So this works for Samsung phone. So you can use it in a Samsung phone, Samsung Android phone. And there are several other code you can try in order to access Wi-Fi or in order to access a service mode you know, other Android devices, other Android smartphone. So I'm not sure whether these codes really work for your other Android smartphones or not, but this works for this is steps and this code works for your Samsung. On the top, you're gonna see more. So click on this more and then you're gonna tap to Wi-Fi. Click on this Wi-Fi. When you tap on Wi-Fi, you're gonna see this page. Somewhere in this device, I do not have the option. You're gonna see the option as off. Here you have a ping test. On the top of ping tape test, you will have the option to off. So you just have to turn it off and then restart your smartphone. If you do not have the option, you can skip this step. Because currently in this Samsung smartphone, I do not have an option to turn it off. So turn it off, you have an option to turn off, then restart your phone or skip this step. In some smartphone, when you type it, and then at the last, you're going to type star you'll see this page when you tap to Wi-Fi you're gonna see this now you tap to Wi-Fi status you just have to refresh the start and then go back Wi-Fi. just tap the Wi-Fi and you're gonna see this page you can even open this from the setting just tap the, your Wi-Fi network select your Wi-Fi network and tap it somewhere you're gonna see manage network setting or you might have some different option. Sometimes you might get this option directly. It's the so advanced option. So check this. 
advanced option and then you're going to see a static so the different device has a different ways you just have to get to the advanced option guys just and then somewhere you're going to see IP setting where you have a two different option DSCP and a static you're going to choose a static so that is you're going to do because in the beginning when you tap to the Wi-Fi network you might have a different ways it will display you the option in a different smartphone so anyway access the advanced option choose a static in a static you're going to put your static Wi-Fi address like 192.168.68.100.60 is right over here so you can change this value so everything should be fine 192.168.100. instead of 60 you can put 61 so you can put any value from 1 to 254 1 to 254 default gateway should be 192.168.100.1 and you can put 24 over here DNS should be 192.168.100.1 and everything should be as it is you don't have to make any changes and then you can just try to save it and connect it and you can see Wi-Fi connected let me tap it once again if it is still do not work again you have to access the advanced option check this box advanced option and then here you have a static you're gonna choose a static again and then here you have instead of 100 what you're gonna do instead of 100 you're gonna change it to 1 1.61 192 168 1.61 here you have 100.1 you can have the value 1 over here 1.1 1 .1. and here over also you can change it to 1.1 1 .1. and everything should be as it is it should be 24 over here and all this and try to connect it if this two method do not work you can proceed to the next method the next step you can go to the settings in settings somebody gonna find backup and reset here's the backup and reset in some phone directly at the bottom you're gonna see the factory reset but in my phone here I have a backup and reset in one the either way I'm just trying to access the factory data reset so somewhere in your phone in a setting you're gonna see factory data reset it doesn't matter whichever version of phone you are using or whichever brand or whichever device you are using here's the factory data reset you gonna access it and then you're gonna click on it so once you click on it, you're going to read all this properly. So it's going to delete lots of information from your phone. So be careful and just read it before you continue. And then finally, at the bottom of your phone, you can see reset device. Click on reset device in order to reset your device. So it's going to ask you for the final confirmation. Click on delete all. So it will delete all the information and erase everything from your phone. So you can proceed if you want for the factory reset and then you can just log into your phone again you can turn on your phone again and then you can try connecting to the Wi-Fi and it should be working fine if all these steps really help you guys be sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment and share this video you can help out your friends and many other people have a good day